Hello. I'm on early. Let's see who else is going to be showing up. <laughs> well, let's see how many people show up today. We're doing a lot of stuff. I'm super excited. I got so much stuff going on. My list had lists. So if you didn't catch it earlier, we may have to extend our not extend but push. Our barn star barn star sampler instead of starting at two at one o'clock, we might have to push it to two o'clock next month because I think we're not. I don't think we're going to be done with the uh, butterfly quilt, so I might have to do two videos on Sunday. We'll keep the butterfly quilt at um, one, and then I'll end that video. And start the Barn Star Sampler. So we're going to start out on the same day the, that I have already posted, which... Let's see. What day did I say we're going to do that? Mm -hmm. We're going to start that one on February 11th. The Barn Star Sampler. But I think we're going to, like I said, put it at 2 instead of at 1. Because we're not going to be done with this... One, I don't think. At least I don't think so. Having getting sick in the holidays that really throw me for a loop. Not to mention my husband's hospital. It's just been crazy. All right. While we're waiting a few more minutes, I went shopping today. Um, I'm not sure if any of you, I'm assuming some of you are familiar with um, Dixie Bell Paints, but we have a local dealer in town. Like it's literally right around the corner from my shop, right around the corner, a block from my shop. So I went in there and picked her brain and picked up a bunch of paints. To do the dresser that I'm think that I'm going to be working on, he said. I know, and there, a lot of people are like freaking out because it's a beautiful wood. Unfortunately, not the whole thing. You know, just the picture I should looks halfway decent, but not everything on the dresser is that good. And I'm really not in the mood to be restaining and stripping and all of that stuff. So. I actually bought the dresser for this specific reason because I'm going to use it as practice before I attempt to do my dining room set, which is a much bigger project and something that I don't want to ruin. And if the dresser comes out great, it's going to go in my um, foyer. I'm actually excited about this. I think it's going to be fun. Not that I need another project. I have hundreds of projects to do but you know i can't sew all the time i need other outlets all right i will be right back give me a second i'll be right back okay everybody i'm gonna go get something
Sorry about that. Back. Next. This is my first time doing decoupage, so I think it'll be good. I think it, I'm hoping. I mean, it's not my first time doing painting on furniture, but it's my first time doing something this different. So it comes in two pieces. That's the bottom. It's kind of like. You guys would understand this. You know, um, stabilizer, um, no-show mesh stabilizer. That's kind of what this has got to feel. It's not really like, they call it tissue paper, but it's not really tissue. Not tissue paper. They call it tissue, but it's not. It's actually kind of see-through, so I don't know. We're, we're going to try it. So that's the bottom. And I bought this in multiple pieces. This is the top of it. And I'm going to put it on the two drawers. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. I'm, I mean, I know it's going to be fun. I hope it turns out as good as I think it's going to. Let's hope. And I bought all kinds of paints. I'm going to have some fun. I think it'll be fun. We'll see. I'll share with you. You'll see how bad I bomb. And if I don't bomb, yay! All right, we're here a little bit early here, people. So I'm going to start anyway. And if anybody comes in, let me know when you come in so that um, I can say hi. There we go. I hope everybody is having a good week so far. This was a weird week for me. I don't know about you, but I had a very busy week. But I actually, I mean, I had a couple of days of not so busy. It was very frustrating. I was busy, but didn't get anything done on my list of stuff to do. So I was very frustrated. When I don't get to accomplish things or knock things off my list, it's very, very frustrating. But then, towards the end of the week, I got a lot more done. So, that was good. I got two machines out of the shop, two long arms done maintenance. So, I'm very happy about that. All right. Let's start. I know we're early, but I'm ready. Yes. All right. This is section... Five? Goodness gracious. My brain is fried. Yes. We're doing section five. Right here. So it looks like this, but it's it's pretty big. Okay, it's gonna be one full section. This is the right side that I completed already. And just like we did before, I'm to do the left side. All we're going to do is this is right side up and we're going to put our pieces right side down and mirror them on top. This is going to help you guarantee that you're going to have mirror image right and a left. Hmm, I grabbed a few of the wrong pieces, I think. Bear with me. Maybe, maybe not. No, I think I've got them all. Let's see.
So going right sides together, we've got my completed unit, which is the right side done. And to do the left side, all we're gonna do is put these on top and mirror image them. And I know this one goes right here. Okay, we're gonna start, I'm gonna slide it down just a little bit so that you can see. And I know it looks confusing, but when you keep, when I lay this out the first time, I literally looked at it this way, okay? And started putting my pieces down this way. So I know one way or the other, you can do the left one first, you could do the right one first, doesn't matter. But I laid my pieces out this way, so I knew exactly what I was doing. Once you do that, then all you have to do is start sewing them all together. And how I did that, whoops, is I started with these. I'm going to sew these three half square triangles together. Okay. I hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. And I hope you're liking this because I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to doing the barn start with you all. All right. So there's that. And now we're going to put these together. Laying it down is really going to help you make sure you don't make a mess. So if you lay, or not a mess, but do them in the wrong order or the wrong way, lay them down. Even though I just did these two half square triangles and made sure to lay them down on top of my or my pieces so I know which way to sew the next piece. This stuff is not rocket science. It's not hard. Um, this quilt is a fairly simple quilt and it's a good one. It's a good one for you to get better at some of these squares and some of these processes, like lining up your seams, squaring things up, getting consistent at your quarter of an inch seam allowance. So this is not rocket science, trust me. All right, now I'm not gonna iron the seams yet. And I'll tell you why. I wanna do, um, what do I wanna do? Now I'm gonna do these two here and these two here and put this on. Then once I figure out where the seams are here, I'll iron these seams, if that makes sense. So we're going to do this one. When I have to start pinning, I'll, I'll do a up close of the sewing when I actually pin. You can pin as much as you want, as much as you feel comfortable. I do not pin a lot unless I'm lining up my seams or things like that, because I've been doing it a long time and I just don't see the need for me personally. Not saying that it isn't important. If you want to pin, pin. There's certain places where I'll tell you that pinning is a must. Um... And I'll show you how I pin. But if you're comfortable not pinning, then don't pin. All right. There's that one. I'm going to put these two together. You know, you guys, if there's something you want to learn or another quilt you want to do in a quilt along like this, let me know. I'm always up for suggestions. 
I picked this butterfly quilt and the barn star sampler. Well, the butterfly quilt because I've had the kit for quite a while. And the barn star sample because I think the quilt is gorgeous. Plus, even if you don't have the kit, these quilts are great for your stash, for going through your stash. Because there's so many different colors. There's not a ton of fabric you need for each one, with, you know, except for maybe the background. So they're really great stash busters. Okay, there we go. Now, I want these two seams, one going one way, one going the other way, so that I can connect these here. And that's how I'm going to do it. Since I have a solid piece here, I'm going to use that for my seams to go against. Why do I do that? This piece is solid. You've got seams over here. If you can, if you have to, iron it this way. But it causes just a tiny bit of bulk right in this area. So I'm since I'm doing this, I'm going to put it this way. Are you going to see it? Yes, but with the quilting... I don't think it's going to matter. And then I'm going to sew this eye and this one this way. So you need two seams. If you want to line your seams up, you need the seams going in opposite directions to line them up correctly. And I forgot to turn the iron on. This should be a two second thing but when the iron's hot. When the iron's not hot, it's not so fast. Go figure. What are you guys working on? I would love to see what you're working on. I love that. You guys give me a lot of ideas and I love to see other people's ideas. I do. Okay, let me make sure I got this going the right way. Now, see? That's how you mess up. Okay, I sewed these. Guess what? Oh, no, I didn't mess it up. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yep, okay. For a minute, I thought I hit the wrong seam. Here I am telling you guys not to do that, and I thought I'd done it. All right, we've got this top seam going this way and the bottom seam going this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to butt those seams up against it. It's called nesting the seams. When it's done correctly, you're not going to feel the bulk. They will fit together perfect. Not perfect, but they'll fit together well because there's nothing perfect in quilting. And I'm going to put my pin on an angle. I'm going to start sewing from this down, this side down. So I want grabbing the seam on the bottom and coming back up and grabbing the seam on the top. Now, this way, when I sew, I can stop with my needle down in the seam before I pull this pin out. Okay, the reason I want to do that, you sew and stop with your needle down in the seam before you take your pin out. Sometimes the action of just taking the pin out is enough to um, move or slide the two seams and you're going to end up not having them aligned correctly. You never want to sew over your pins, ever. It's not a good thing to do. You can get hurt. You can break your machine. At the very least, you can bust a needle. 
maybe trying to decide if I got too close to my seam or not. My point, I mean, my point. Nope, I did good. There you go. Now, another tip. I'm sewing this way, right? You have your half square triangle seams right here. To make sure you don't cut off your point, you want to make sure that you sew just on that side of that line where they connect. And that way, they'll connect without cutting off your point. All right, I'm going to put this one down here. Now I'm going to take this piece and sew it to here. Then I can connect this section to the first half square triangles that we did. Now, if you guys don't, if you guys are good with putting the rest of this together, I won't have to extend the videos. It's up to you. Give me a heads up. I mean, if you guys are good and you're done watching me put these pieces together, since we're all done with the blocks, that's fine. I can stop doing it. You guys, you guys just have to let me know. I hate talking to myself. All right, now I'm going to iron this. Now, now that we have our first set and our second set ready, okay, we've got both of these ready. I've ironed these two seams up, which means I have to iron these two seams down so that we can nest them together. And I'll show you how to do that one more time. Anybody can do this. It's not hard. Just got to learn the basics. Once you learn the basics, you'll be good to go. All right. Now. I got a lot of threads and lint all over the place. All right. I've got these two seams going that way. The two seams on top going this way. I'm going to butt them up together. It's called nesting. And I find it's easier if you're looking at it on an angle. And then you can feel it. Now I'm going to put my pins up. On an angle. If it feels bulky, it's wrong. Okay. Now I can sew from here, stop with my needle down right in the seams. See how we've got this seam going this way and one seam going this way? I want to sew it and hit that X. You don't want to be on this side of the X. You want to be on that side, even if it's just by a thread. That way you're not going to cut your points and everything will match. Oh, machine. 
Oh, sometimes it just doesn't want to play nice. Stop, take my pin out. Let's see. Ah, not too shabby. What do you think? All right. Now, I'm just going to iron this last seam. And then we'll get the next section. I have, normally I don't put water in my iron, but with this one, I have found that a little bit of steam helps just a little bit. So I use start still most of the time, but there's always certain quilts out there or piecing or whether it's fabric, whatever that um starts will help a little i mean uh steam will help a little bit more we're playing i'm going i go back and forth lately this is also a brand new iron so i feel comfortable putting water in it 99 percent of the time my irons always leak when in the wrong time so i just found it was easy to use a dry iron for most of these years so we're playing a little bit. Okay, so we just got this piece done. Now we're going to sew these two together, then sew it to this piece, and then sew these two together. helps when your thread is a needle started. Can you guys hear Nola through? I wonder. Shut the door. I don't know what she's barking at, but she goes crazy at every little itty bitty noise. Um, I gotta make sure I am um, Oh, in this the right direction. Yep. Anybody working on anything else fun? I would love to know. I have to tell you, this shop that I went to visit today, my local shop, um, chalk it up for all my locals. She not only sells paint, you know, Dixie Bell paint, but she actually sells refinished pieces. They're really nice. She does nice work. You have to go and take a look. I'll share her page later on. All right, we'll just iron this one.
Okie dokie. So this is the one that I just sewed. We're going to sew this one to here. Okay. Show you my thinking, all right? So this is the one that I just sewed. Normally, I'd so I'd iron my seam towards this side, but this seam is already going up. So this one has to go down so that I can line up my seams, okay? I got a lot going on today. After this, I have to start doing some embroidery. I have a big embroidery job for one of the local restaurants. There are two store, two uh, two restaurants, and um, I got to get them done. I'm going to start cutting and sewing the Barn Star Sampler this weekend. Super excited about that. Okay, so. Now I can sew this one to this one. And again, just going to line up the seams the same way I've already showed you. I have a lot to do. Can't even think about doing my new dresser yet until I get some other stuff done, unfortunately. I was at the shop last night working on a machine because it was busy during the day. So I didn't have time to work on the machine until late i should have been out of the shop at five i didn't get home until almost seven because i waited for my customer to come and pick it up so that she could have her machine today So by the time I got home last night, I was not happy. I was very uncomfortable. My knees took a beating yesterday. It was a lot of up and down, a lot of walking around. I had two machines picked up, so a lot of lifting. Those long arm, handy the long arms are not light. Not. I'm getting old. Unfortunately. Nothing like feeling your age all of a sudden. Um. Oh. It's hot. There we go. Almost. There's a lot of little scenes in here. A lot. Okie doke. So now this one's here. We can sew this piece. Not too much more. What else is going on? Hubby is 
Mm -mm. Go back to the doctor's Thursday, but his wound started opening a little bit on his foot. So, I don't know, we're still in limbo, which isn't fun. I'm tired of being in limbo. They took out half of the stitches on an incision over a week ago. It was a week Thursday. And as a result, the seam started opening. They were supposed to take all the other stitches out this week, but they left them in just to see how the rest of his foot heals. But it's, it is what it is. So, yes, next Thursday I'll be closing early again to take Chris to the doctors. I'm getting tired of doctors. And I'll tell you that. It wouldn't be so bad if they were my doctors. But, no. I've been to, between the hospital and do his doctors, I've been in and out of doctors a lot. And I'm over it. Now I get to do a test tomorrow for myself. I'm at that age. They want me to do a bone density test. Half the time I'm trying to figure out if this really, any of it is really going to matter. You know what I mean? I know it's probably a good thing, but I'm just tired of, it's interfering with my time. Like the test tomorrow, I have to drive 45 minutes just to get to the test. It'll be there eight before 8.30 in the morning, and the test is probably going to take 10 minutes. And I got to drive another 45 minutes home. Ugh. I'd much rather be sewing on my day off. All right. Here we go. So we just finished this section here. And now we get some lining up to do. We're going to sew it to this one. And I'm going to show you where I um, ironed my seams. Or I'll show you again how to line it up. Because we've got a couple of seams here that we're going to want um, want to line up. Okay. There we go. We've got this seam here that'll work. Is it absolutely positively necessary for you to line up all of these seams? No. If you're learning. Is it the end of the project if you don't? No. But the more you can practice doing this, for me personally, I like, even though these blocks are different blocks and sometimes the fabric is the same, I like my seams to line up. Um, that way it keeps all the angles and the sides the same, but it also does not interfere with my eye looking at the quilt as a whole when it's done. Sometimes if the seams don't line up, I notice them. I'm not saying you will. I'm not saying anybody else will. But I do. So I try to line up my seams as much as possible. Even if it's not absolutely necessary to do that, I try to. Okay.
Let's see how I did. Not too chubby. Okay. This is what I mean by lining up my seams. Is it absolutely necessary? No. But for my eye, I want to see the seams lined up as much as possible. Am I going to freak out too much if they're not? No. Like, well... This one I'm not too happy with, but I can take care of that later. What I would do is just re-stitch it. But I'll do that. Well, maybe I'll do it. No, I'll do that later. All right. Oops. Here we go. So I got this down here. Now, we've got a lot of other pieces, so I'm going to move this up so you can see a little bit more. So we've got this sewed on, right? Now, each bibble, I have to bring it up some more. This is a long one. All right. Now we're going to have to put these two together in order to sew it to this longer side. Then you can sew these to this one or sew them to this one and then sew it all with the rest of it. That makes sense. And I got a few more seams to line up. Not too many. Just this one right here. These two. And I think I'm going to iron this one over the other way. So I hope you're getting a enough out of this um make this quilt easy it's not a difficult quilt so but it is a fun one i love quilts like this that you can do multiple different blocks you're not doing the same block all day and night because I like easy. I like it when it's I don't like to get bored and I would get bored very very easily <laughs> if oh bummer and the seams are all way. I would get bored pretty easily if I have to do the same block 50 times. Um, so. That's why I like quilts like this. And that's why I'm going to love the um, Barn Star Sampler. You only have to do a couple of each star. So I think it's it's going to be fun. You're going to learn a ton of different stars, different sizes. I think that quilt's going to be beautiful. And it's a great stash quilt because there's so many colors in it. And if you didn't want to do all the colors, you could do, you know, let's say you are a blue or a teal person or purple. You have a lot of different purples. You can make that work with a lot of different fat quarters and fabrics from your stash. Just have a background fabric that would be somewhat neutral to show off your stars. I'm here if anybody needs help picking out fabric or has questions about the Barn Star Sampler. I have sold out of the book, but it's easy enough to get. Hmm. <laughs> 
goes there. But there's only four more sections, I believe, on this quilt. And then you put the sections together, put the two halves, and then put the top together. All right. Here we go. So this is the section that we just finished. Okay. This per, uh, flying geese scene is going that way. So that tells me I want to iron this one this way. If you get a pattern where they don't tell you um, which side to iron the seams to, this is what you have to think about when you're piecing. Because you want to make sure it goes together as easy as possible. There we go. So we've got a seam here and here. I'm gonna I'm gonna iron this one here. I'm gonna not even iron. I think I'm just gonna half seam them. And that one. That one's the important one. I'm having fun. Hey, I'm having fun. I'm sewing. I'm sewing a quilt that I've wanted to, which is not an easy thing in my line of work, believe it or not. 99% of the time, I'm only sewing class samples. That's why I do these videos to kind of help you, and it gives me an opportunity to sew a quilt that I really want to sew. So it is a win win as far as I'm concerned. All right. Oh, this machine there looks like it would be a pain in the butt. Um, almost done, almost done. If I can get more sections done before the bar and scar sampler, um, maybe I'll do some impromptu classes, videos. It all depends on how this week goes because I have a lot in the week. And with all of the video equipment being in my home, everything is kind of split. So it's a little bit more difficult. Ah, oh, not bad. Even if I do say so myself. Look at that. Not too shabby. Once in a while, it works out. If I can do some extra videos so that we can start the barn star sampler at the day that I want, at the time that I want, I will post if I can do them here so that you guys will know. And you can join me or not. All the videos are on YouTube and we're completely up to date. All right, we're down the home stretch now. Here's the piece that we just finished. I'm gonna sew this one to here and then sew this section 
to this other piece that we've already finished. Let's see, what do we got for seams? <laughs> I've got a few that I can line up. Um, remember, if you got any questions at all, you guys can reach me here, reach me at the shop. You leave a message here. Unfortunately, I don't have a life. So I'll probably answer you quickly. That's what happens when you don't have a life. Or I shouldn't say I don't have a life. I should say I work all the time. Unfortunately or fortunately, it depends on how you look at it. I do a lot of working. Oh, did a lot of running around already today. Lovely. Hey. Now all we do, so here it is. I've already laid it down. Now I know where to connect this one and this one. And again, I'm just going to line up whatever seams I can. And this is the last stitch. I had breakfast. My stomach is growling all over the place because I haven't had lunch yet. Mm -hmm. All right, final seam, ready to stitch, at least for this week. Oops.
Okay. Now I want to show you one thing. Here's our flying geese. Now I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Hold on. When we made our flying geese, we have an X right up here. Okay. So you have a seam here, a seam here, and a seam here. When I'm sewing, I want to make sure I do not go on the bottom of this X. I want to be right at the X or just a thread up top of the X. That way I'm not cutting off my point. Right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not too shabby if I say so myself. And yes, I will say so. There you go. That's our second piece. All right. That's it for today. You know where I am if you need me. Hope you have a great weekend, rest of the week. Now, I have an embroidery job to start or to finish. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks.